Welcome back everyone to the Korean Keto Guy channel. And in today's episode, I have a little bit of a follow-up from the last video that I'll put up here um, that I did for Dos Toros. You know, I was talking about that Chipotle Keto Bowl. Well, guess what? Ta-da! That's exactly what I have for y'all today. I have the, um, the bag here, but I actually have a Chipotle Keto Bowl. And it's funny because I'll be honest, it's been a long time since I've gotten something like this from Chipotle. Back in the day, I used to always go to Chipotle just because it was convenient. But uh, where I live now, it's not super easy for me to get to one, oddly enough. But I actually went ahead and did this via DoorDash. So this is pretty cool, right? So it's like a Chipotle bowl, but probably won't see there. But I did it through DoorDash. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's like a food delivery service and uh, kind of, you know, like seamless if you guys are familiar with that, it's like that. And it's pretty neat because I also happen to have that Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card. Uh, you know, some of you guys may know about that, that benefit that they're giving because they're increasing the annual price on it or whatever. So I decided just to use that, right? Because normally, you know, I'm a, I'm a big cost saving, you know, trying to be as cost effective as possible. I don't like to do this kind of thing, but because I get a $60 credit i decided to try it out so i got a, uh, a chipotle keto bowl with that and so it's a steak bowl with guacamole steak hot red cheese and lettuce so this i can actually probably just put right there in front of the camera oh no okay so because it is a delivery service the food's gonna be kind of all over the place so you know on first impression here as i'm opening this Definitely uh, not as to how I remember. But to be fair, usually when I go to Chipotle, I make my own bowl. I don't actually get the keto bowl too often. I don't even remember when it was, but this is kind of what it looks like. And it's all in one side, unfortunately, because it's a delivery service, right? So they kind of shift it around, but that's pretty much what it looks like. Uh, spilling it. All right. And of course, Chipotle, you know, even if you're not here in New York City, it's pretty common everywhere. So if you ever wanted to try it out, go for it. Um, but if you're trying to save money, right, maybe the, let's see how it tastes first, right, before I, before I, uh, uh, I suggest maybe eating the salad bowl. But yeah, without further ado, guys, let's give it a shot here. Chanamo kiss me Mmm, little lettuce. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Mmm. So definitely a lot of guacamole. That's a plus. Mmm. Not that much lettuce, actually. That's pretty good. Just like those Toros. You put way less lettuce in here, more food. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. The red chili sauce is really good. Mm. I will say, if you're really hungry though, like usually after a fast, this may not be enough food, I can tell that already. Mm. Taste-wise, this is fantastic, I mean. Mm. Tastes really good. And keto friendly wise, absolutely. I mean, you can almost be tasted. You can taste the avocados, the guacamole, the cheese, all that. Mmm. Mmm. But yeah, I mean, I just I just finished a workout, so I'm extra hungry. 
I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I feel like this is not enough food. Mm. But otherwise, this is fantastic. Mm. Mm. I'm almost done with this though, look at this. That's pretty insane. Mm. That is really good though. And look at that. Not even what, five minutes in? And, oh, absolutely destroyed that. So, highly, highly recommend. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this keto bowl. Here's my take. Absolutely delicious. This was, I could definitely go for another one, which in fact leads me number two. If you're gonna order this and you're really, really hungry, like me, right, breaking a fast, coming out from a workout, extra hungry, one keto bowl may not be enough. And I'm, and I'm one that doesn't even, eat, I don't even eat that much, right? So that's definitely a takeaway. Um, otherwise, it's really good. I would almost say that you may want to just fork over the extra money and get uh, like the burrito bowl instead and um, you know put in the avocado as extra because this was definitely keto friendly but just that the quantity was too little that's the only um, issue I would say about it but it's been a long time and this is really good comparing this to Dos Toros I would say they're on par. I mean, they're, <clears throat> they're just both really good. Um, but I will say Dos Toros wins in terms of having more food and also keeping the lettuce low and still having it really keto friendly and just more variety. So i um, going to say the Dos Toros is better, but I still love this. It's still really delicious. If you want to give it a shot, if you have a Chipotle next to you, I should say near you, definitely try it at least once, right? If you have DoorDash, right, with the, and you happen to have that Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card and you get a credit anyways, try it like that, right? That way you're not really um, losing out. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you haven't done so already, uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll make sure to be putting out more content like this. And uh, right, thank you always guys for the comments below i really i really do read those those are always really great thank you so much and until next video hope you all have a good rest of your day and happy ketoing